Okay, recording. Welcome everyone. Welcome to May 20th Jaws Value Working Group meeting. Uh, please add yourself and tell how you're feeling today or anything you want to share. And uh, the topics for today's discussion are, uh, we worked last time on the impact factor, like previously as a RPT metric. So maybe we can continue and refine this. Sure. There's a link in there. We can go and take a look at it. Let me share the screen. <coughs> Maybe we take a few minutes and look at it and... Uh, yeah, I'll stop the recording while we do this, or pause it anyway. I should have recording again. Um, so for the... If you haven't seen, Kevin, I know you've seen this, it's with respect to the translations. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to reach out to... Um, uh, Yash and Ritik, who have been doing some of the release work, and connect them also with uh, Shane Coughlin at OpenChain, because they do a lot of translation work, and see if they can't come up with a process that we can begin mm -hmm. to talk against. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if that's okay with you. Yeah, yeah, I think that falls, that definitely falls within the uh, uh, the scope of that project, actually, so. Okay, uh, and they've been that's so the, good. The release, the release process is what we're talking about, right? So the, yeah. and part of that release process is actually, can, it can include maintaining the, uh, maintaining and versioning the, the translations, which we know mm -hmm. is an issue uh, that we haven't resolved yet. Uh, okay. So. And I agree, so, uh, Open Chain does, they do a really nice job of, and they were one of the first projects I saw that, that did a, I mean, they do a really nice job of having multiple, multiple translations. Exactly, um, so it might be nice to talk to them and just kind of- Mind see. you, I don't, think they're, I don't think they're standard changes as often as ours does. No, well, it may not. Constantly and releasing. It might just give, it might just give those two just some bearings on how to think through process. So, uh, so as far we, as that issues. Before we, mm -hmm. before we start setting that stuff up though, could we have a, could we have a meeting with you, me and Georg and kind of talk through, talk through all of this uh, before we uh, set them aside and start giving them um, well, that's fine. tasks. Yeah, no, I mean, as-, as But yeah, I definitely agree that's a good idea. Okay, cool. I just wanted to share that here as well. Okay. I've noted that in the meeting notes. Yep. So I'll clean the rest of the metric and uh, if you hear from the James, then we'll put that uh, visualization in it and then I guess it'll be good for the release. Okay, so next agenda on the meeting is uh, organizational influence that we defined, but I think we have five minutes. I'm not sure we'll be able to do that or should we keep it for the next meeting? I am happy to stop five minutes short and keep it to the next <laughs> meeting. <laughs> and the third agenda is just one lightning talk. I've written uh, one paragraph, maybe, uh, if you can look at it in, in the five minutes and suggestions or anything.
Wow, 1,300. Oh, character, not words, never mind. I was going to say that's for a, a big, for a big abstract. Talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for a five minute talk. Yeah, if I remember correctly, those survey results were fairly inconclusive. Yes. Right, there was kind of a fairly even spread. Yes. Um, on what they didn't Just, know, and and a couple of them were uh, could maybe be broken down into. Uh, yeah, that is that's not that big. This is a little out of order. So you have the Twitter, the Twitter results. And then there's an implication that we develop metrics following a goal question metric approach in response to the Twitter results. That's not exactly, you know what I mean? Yes, I, I got it, okay. I was trying to connect, okay, this is what we want, uh, got with this is what we are doing and how to connect that or maybe like, this is so how I we might, can help. So I might, so down to, um, I, I would probably take this section here the, to overcome okay. and say the results, as Kevin pointed out, the results showed mixed findings right but that doesn't mean that we just throw the survey into the trash it means that there's pain points there's right pain points at every step at every right. single yeah. step and yep. we need to overcome these things and so maybe the talk could say you know at this first step here are some things that we're doing in the chaos project at the second step here are some things that we're doing and then so on and so forth. So this will just discuss current initiatives in the chaos project right. that are helping improve each one of these steps right. and being kind of explicit, like with respect to data collection or with respect to how to interpret, like what are, you know, like, I think the, um, like the badging program should probably be used in here. Right. Um, displays that, is, that could be Grimoire Lab and Augur, of course. Data collections, Grimoire Lab and Augur. Right. Um, there just there's certain things we're doing that are trying to help overcome. I think there were four. Right. Four areas of pain, and you should probably list each one of those four very explicitly. Okay. So, like here, you only have two. Uh, I think I have explicit, even if that data is collected, then I've included those two points in this okay. section. These are the two points, like letter two points. Okay. But just say we ran this survey to ask where the pain points are against these four things. Right. There were pain points across all four things, which is interesting <laughs> all by itself. And here are things that we do have in place in the chaos project, but obviously more work is needed across all of these. Okay. Okay. We uh, thank you. This is helpful. We are at the end of the time. So I'm sharing. Thank you all for joining and anything else or have a nice day.